the dismal future red zone the hardest red zone today and one of the hardest events to run each stage back to back and it's talked about in the community for its lackluster design with four out of five of the fights being very similar and the last stage being the most difficult currently in the game due to unfair mechanics but we aren't here for a deep dive we are here for the dismal future red zone 200 percent category leader challenge and in this challenge we'll be taking every 200 percent leader in the game being dokkan fest and carnival ours in release order and running them straight through the red zone with some special rules Number one, we must run a double lead of the featured character in all of the stages. Number two, the team must contain characters that are under at least a 170% lead. Number three, if we lose a fight, we only get one retry and we restart on that stage. And number four, it must be a no item run, no items and no support memories. Can we clear this challenge? Hey everyone, so we have a really, really bad team. Uh for this one we have a really bad character on a bad team i shouldn't say a really bad character we are we're doing rudigarn now he's pretty good i mean i like him he's he's got a cool kit i guess but his team sucks so he leads movie bosses or resurrected warriors you <laughs> movie bosses kind of sucks resurrected warriors kind of sucks he is a villain character who leads a villain centric team so it's just bad and then more bad. That's just how it is for villains. So I'm gonna answer one quick question because this banner is up right now. He's the all new character. Should you summon? No, you should never summon for this guy. Honestly, you should never summon for extreme class characters ever. There is never a point to summon for them because they, even, even when their kits are better than other super class characters, they never get help. They have bad links who are never able to link up with good characters. The only good link for villains is big bad bosses. And, well, they suck. They never get any help. They just get left to dry. They Even when they look like they're better than other characters, they got more solid kits, whatever, they are just worse. It's just the life we live. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's the, end of the, that's the end of the story here. They we're unlucky because we have to run a villain team. I will say something nice about Hurdergarn is that his animations are actually crazy. Like, he actually has insane animations. Um, he wants to stack, right? So, he stacks or whatever, and he stacks, and they're whatever. Uh, villains teams, yeah, I mean, I'm not really gonna... It's never worth it. If you're a free-to-play player, or even you spend a little bit of money, it is literally every extreme class banner is just... It's a bait banner. It is straight up a bait banner. There is never a reason to summon on a on a on a banner that it features a new extreme class character. I mean, like there are just the only ones that are worth it are for characters that are quote unquote extreme class characters. By that I mean like worth it to summon for I don't know what like Vegeta and Broly. Like they're you know extreme class quote unquote right but they have saiyan links and they fit on a bunch of super class teams they're not the same they're super extreme class <laughs> let's be honest they they're not they're they're different they are very different they're they're not the same type but uh no please please just please don't summon for this character he's good is the thing i guess he did just take 52k from stage one of the Disney Future Red Zone, but... Oh, yep, session! Yeah, Golden Feliza, Golden Feliza. So he transforms when your center center lasts from the third turn or just from the sixth turn. Um, I see no reason not to transform him, right? Let's just do it quick. This is the only chance we're going to be see to, a lot, to see a lot of the animations. Let's be real.
He does look really cool. Harugarn is undoubtedly cool. And like I said, they went really hard on his animations. I am overall disappointed by Goku's animations. Not as much because like they're bad or anything. Like I don't think they're that bad. They're like pretty decent for what he is. The thing I don't like is that he's uh how do I how do I put it? He's missing a lot of things that he should have had. His animations feel really short and not very detailed. And him not having a KO screen, I do find to be very, very stupid. And I do find to be a huge misplay by Dokkan. Like, a huge, huge misplay by Dokkan. I think it is one of the worst decisions they've made in a very long time. I do not understand how they could have that character and not give him just not give him an act like not give him a ko screen like in what like this is that's a character made for a ko screen you make him around the dragon fist of this ko screen i whatever it, it's just silly to me but harutakarn's animations though no they're just like perfect no notes they are next level it does it does really remind me of uh what's his name like the new, new, I guess it was it was before Vegeta, but that newer first form Frieza that came out in JP, who just has like spectacularly amazing animations for kind of no reason. It's the same thing with Harutakarn. I don't quite get it. Also, um, these these Beerus units suck, huh? <laughs> uh, take a, you know, oof, whatever. Luckily, we could keep a transformed Harutagarn and a non-transformed Harutagarn together, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, that's kind of my plans rotation-wise, is to have the Freezes and the Android 13 kind of like float and be okay. And then, well, my plan was to have the Beerus as, as a one rotation, but s Beerus takes a lot of damage. And physical Beerus also isn't super great. He's kind of taking a lot of damage. It's, he gets the orb changing against the Realm of Gods enemy, so if you're like, oh, because it's not against the right enemy, it's not entirely true. But they're not quite at the level I thought they would be, unfortunately. Especially him. He took a lot, despite, you know. All right, six. He needs seven, though. Right? Let me just double check here. Three or more, and then an additional 30% with seven. Um... Yeah, I mean, as long as I don't get supered before, we're fine, but there's not anything I could do about it. Can't put any of these other guys up front, so whatever. We'll just, we'll just, you know, if we die, then we die. Okay, he does get defense first hit, so he's fine as long as that wasn't a super. Oh, he uses beam supers, of course, of course. Okay. Um, I mean, he's still got 30% damage reduction, supered once, defense up. Let's see how much damage he takes on the super. He's the best character to take the super on this rotation. Still takes 453, and we die, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, all right, I guess we'll hop right back in. Uh, okay, so I just decided to switch uh, the SGR Beerus with Turles, because... Turles could probably be okay, maybe, and the STR beer is just taking way too much damage, even after he got his defense buff. So we'll just try, we'll try him out. Maybe, maybe he's our secret code, and then we'll actually keep the Hrudegarn split. I just thought that the two beers together would just be a better rotation than they were. So I'm not really gonna focus on beers too much. I'm kind of just gonna focus on having the Hrudegarns be good. Maybe even just pairing up with a golden Frieza and stuff. And I mean, Beerus might be fine. This is all hypothetical. We got to like an, the int enemies, like uh, both of the like stage four, stage five. But I don't know. He's not. He's not really all that. To be honest, uh, people were gassing him up quite a bit before. So a little disappointing. Every time I've used him, I haven't felt like he does anything that spectacular. So. Whatever to the to the Beerus is not just not just STR Beerus was a little bit of a long shot. I'm gonna be honest. You know he easy aid kind of a little bit ago. This guy is taking 115 on normals stage one phase one, 
which is really, really cool. Uh, can't say that I find Harutagarn very spectacular here. He's taking a little bit of damage. I guess it's easier to transform to the other Harutagarn. Try to get them to like a 100% dodge, I guess. But yeah, not too... Not too wowed so far, if I'm going to be honest. Um, Beerus, are you just cooked back there? I mean, he gets damage reduction, I guess. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. Um, This team kind of sucks, and I'm definitely... Any excuse I could have to get out of this one as soon as I can, I'll take it. I don't, I don't really care about, you know... We're not winning this one. I'll just, I'll just put it that way. We don't win this one. <laughs> God, I dropped my phone. <coughs> Turn these off. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll just transform. Why not? What's the point in keeping him like this? We want him to start getting the dodges in, right? And dealing more damage. He, I mean, I guess he does like, uh, yeah, level one links. I haven't, haven't gotten around to starting link leveling him yet. I don't know if you guys could tell. Yeah, he just stacks defense, which whatever. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, this team sucks. Movie bosses is what well, movie bosses was great like two years ago with cooler, I guess. And <laughs> I mean, two year a two year ago team. Most most of these characters. I don't know how great that is. And well, what's the other? What's the other one here? Uh, the resurrected warriors, not even a real category. It's so fun. it's like uh, the new Goku Black who had freaking corrupted body and mind or whatever it is it's the same it's just another one of those worthless categories with nothing on it so really just who cares this character is a very whatever team very i mean like i said he's a very pretty character he's got great animations but other than that very whatever not do not care for harutagarn he's he's not that guy yeah this friend's got link level 10 that's nice Mine isn't, but hey, you know, more power to you, more power to you. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see if we even clear stage one. There's so many whack characters. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least we're not focusing on the beer city wars. There's a good chance we clear stage one, but like, if we go up against Cell? LOL. <laughs> I can't see any world where we beat Cell, so. Well, maybe, maybe we'll just die this one and. And you know, the, they'll, they'll give us a free out to go to to just end this one and do a different one. Because honestly, I'll be honest, doing these, I feel like, I mean, I can't skip them because people want to see them. I mean, at least some people want to see them. And e even even if I skip them, I'll get somebody kind of, oh, what about this kid? What about this character? You forgot this one, you know, so I can't escape it. So, I, I mean, we just have to do it, I guess. We just have to deal with it. Uh, you know, we, okay, we get a short one where I'm sad and, and the video sucks because we have to run this bum-ass team. It's like, yeah, if I could skip some of these other ones where I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't believe in them. I don't want to run them. Well, part of me is like, oh, do I really want to not believe them and not run, and not run them? Because sometimes you get surprised. But other times you do get somewhere you're like, ooh, this team is booty cheeks do we really want to run this and it's kind of like no we don't really want to run this because this team is so booty cheeks which is which is what's happening now i could have told you erudegarn's good these guys suck and just kind of ended the video there hey i'm skipping them because well erudegarn's good he runs movie bosses and resurrected warriors and hopefully everyone would be like oh yeah okay that's fine but i don't know but I'm just trying to get his out of the way before we go to Super Saiyan 3 Goku's. Because Super Saiyan 3 Goku is obviously good. And he has a good team. So I do want to I do want to give him a fair shot, obviously. I'm more excited for his. But, you know, uh, I figure we could uh, keep it a little bit like, okay, we had the banger with the Super Saiyan trio who got close. And then we got, the, then we got like, oh, Harutagarn, whatever. Okay. Uh, fine and then we went to the as like a 
the palate cleanser before the next one. So I would like to remind you guys, I did just, I did literally just load up into this with uh, not enough key to get a super attack. So yeah. And we can't put Golden Freeze a slot one because he will actually get molly whopped. So I mean, I don't know. They just want us to lose, not do enough damage this turn. Additional super. Yes. I don't even know why I'm saying yes. It's so hopeless. Honestly, just kill me. Super and don't dodge it, Hrudegarn. Super and don't dodge. Let us die. Put us out of our misery. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I might not have a Hrudegarn friend, like a Hrudegarn for the next stage. And if I don't, I think we just end it there because I want to be honest with you guys. What do we do against Cell? What do we do against Cell? See, I told you I couldn't put these guys slot one. <laughs> I mean, I told you I couldn't put that guy slot one. Did you see how much damage he just took? He double supered before that. Oh, yeah, we put a slot one. Maybe I should just put him slot one so we could die. Maybe we got one of, the, one of the people who was like, oh, we could, he could have lived. Put him slot one. No. Uh, well, if I put him slot one, the people would be like, he would. Obviously, he never would have lived. You could have put him slot one there. Ugh. Gosh, you guys are so annoying in my mind. In my mind, you guys are the worst. Yeah, nice, uh, nice additional supers, you bum. Didn't this guy come out after the worldwide download celebration? Like after these things came out? Didn't you come out, dude? What a bum. Okay, let's grab that. And he needs seven or whatever. We'll move that. See if that moves. No. Oh, I mean, he doesn't need seven because he's at whatever. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, he's taking a little bit of damage, but that's just what you expect. Groar. Get him. Get him. Does he have the best dialogue in the game? Dude, I just... Uh, Hrudegarn, don't dodge a super attack and just die. Please just put me out of my misery. Please just put me out of my misery. I don't believe in this team. I just don't believe in it. Oh, man. Please give me back to a team where I could use Kefla, please. Put me back to a Kefla team. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see a Kefla team. Am I right, guys? Ooh, beam super. Ooh, he could have killed. Now he's not going to. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was Harutagarn's team. That was Harutagarn's team. Yippee, you know. Ah, man, some people just can't be as lucky as you who won with Harutagarn's team. Good job, you who's going to comment something about winning with Harutagarn's team. Harutagarn sucks, and you do too. Goodbye. I love you all. Thank you for watching. How is this video? 17 minutes.